Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, this is a meeting of the Chelsea Licensing Commission. Today is Thursday, May 11th. I am joined this evening by fellow commissioners Mike McAteer, Emily Cherniak, uh, myself, Marnie McAlpine, as well as licensing admin Naomi Lebron and uh, Captain David Betts from the Chelsea Police Department. Uh, to start things off this evening, I would like to get an adoption of the minutes from the April 13th licensing meeting, if I could get a motion. Second. Second. All, all in favor? Aye. Next up, we have a clerk's update. Uh, Naomi, if you wouldn't mind running through the update for me. Yes. Um, concerning the taxi cab rates from several cities, um, inside your packet, I sent uh, the responses I received from Everett, Malden, and Boston. I reached out to Rivera, but still waiting on their response. Okay, and concerning uh, Rincon Latino update, I believe they served their suspension. They were served um, on the dates in question, and there's been no, you know, reoccurrences of any uh, complaints that were similar to what we had received, and I believe they were compliant with, you know, what the commission had suggested. I believe today is the final day of their suspension. If yes. I remember correctly. Yes. Okay. Glad to hear that there hasn't been any instant of uh, not following through? No, they were very re receptive to, you know, complying with, you know, the council's recommendations and no, there were no issues. Fantastic. Council, I've been up there a few times to follow up and I just go with a few of the other officers and everything is fine. Good. That's it. That's it on that. Wonderful. Uh, so next, we'd like to open up a public hearing to consider the uh, public comments on the proposal of a taxi cab fare rate increase throughout Chelsea. Uh, if there's anybody from the public that would like to speak on the matter, um, I would ask that you to please step up to the microphone, state your name and address, uh, please speak clearly, um, and I'd open up the mic to anybody who'd like to speak. Everybody, so I think everybody knows what is the reason. S sir, if you could please state your name first. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. So my name is Jose Ventura. I own the Ventura Taxi Inn. The, my address is 19 Forest Street, Chelsea Mass. Everybody know. I think everybody knows the reason that we, why we are here is because the light is very expensive and the part and the fix uh, and everything, you know. So we're looking for the couple, $3 extra or $3 in, in the car, you know. Everybody in other place, and they try that. In Boston, is, as soon as possible, they, the meters coming up, starting at 380. You know, and lean, everybody, they don't have it, uh, the, the trip, the $3, the, the more is a uh, seven up, mm -hmm. you know. We over here in Chelsea, from, we have it, uh, some time trip the $3, you know. If we buy the coffee, and the regular, we're very tired, it's almost three and something. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is the reason why we are here because the driver don't want to work it because they don't make money, you know? So we pay everybody, I think, I paid 64 attacks on a year of insurance. I had to work a very crazy every day when I am sorry, you know, for make it. So you ask it to me right now, I don't pay my rent. I call the order the bill, give me one week. You know, so um, I I talk to everybody over here. Please help me. You know, so the other competition we have, the other driver no working because we 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 no no make money. They work a properly car. Mm -hmm. 
you know, so you would see the market bus Galara at the say, Yeltsi Club. They charge 10, 11, over here local. We, we charge three, 475, 575, you know, so. I remember I am in the business 202. I started with the blue cup and 202, you know. So when we started, I remember the meter started one, 190 from a square to 100 Bellingham, 190. Couple of years later, we put the application when the, when the Miss Deborah had it the, in, the, in the commission. He gave me one, one, 160, I think, because it started 160 right now, you know? We talk about the 205, something like that, mm -hmm. you know? But that's that, that day, after today, you remember, you know the gasoline in that time, is 160 gallon. Right now, almost five, five and something, depending what gasoline you use, you know? So we are in, 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 in very crisis right now. So this is the reason we, we say help, help, please, because we need it. Nobody want to work with we because they don't make money. No, that makes sense. And um, I see based upon what was reported to us, uh, just so it's a matter of record, uh, that currently the rates here in Chelsea uh, were established on July 1st, 2005, and the uh, rate for the first eighth mile is $1.60. It is then 45 cents for each additional eighth mile um, with a 50% fuel surcharge and a 24-hour prorated hourly waiting time. In the other towns that were pulled, um, Malden is 225 for the first eighth mile with 50 cents each additional eighth mile and a $22 waiting time. Everett uh, just recently increased theirs uh, from $2 to $2.40 for the first eighth mile. And uh, each additional eighth mile was just increased from 45 cents to 55 cents. And their waiting time was just increased from $22 an hour to $26 an hour. Boston was formerly $2.60. That has been raised to $3.80 for the fir first seventh mile, with each additional seventh mile being 40 cents, uh, with tolls additional. And Boston's did note that they were going to revisit those rates in six months uh, and see if it needed to come back down. Um, but they did that temporary increase due to the current gas prices. Um, so our pricing is definitely lower, uh, I think significantly so. When is the last time we increased? Uh, based upon this, 2005? it's 2005. It's a long time. So that is a very long time. Yes, sir. Please step up. Okay. Please state your name. Yeah, my name is Sue Artican. I have the honor Blue Taxi. And I got the proposal over here for us. I give you one place for you. Uh, the letter that we were just given states, Dear Chelsea Licensing Commission, through this proposal that we are presenting as taxicab companies in Chelsea, we want to request the increase for taxicab fare rates due to the cost of living that increases every day and which our companies are also being affected. Requesting an increase that considers both the consumer and their pockets, it is important to emphasize that the prices of taxicab Fair rates in Chelsea have not been raised in almost 20 years, and we consider that it is time for this increase in the most understandable way for our companies. We look forward to your cooperation and understanding. Our proposal for the taxicab fare rate is to increase $3 for the, f for the start 
uh, and then a dollar, oh, I'm sorry, to increase $3 for the start, more than the current $1.60 uh, that's already stipulated from 2005, and this is signed by Blue Taxi Inc., Ventura Taxi Inc., and c and Taxi Inc. And so there's no, like this is only for the beginning, there's no like after X miles an increase? In, in the proposal, right? Is it just? Uh, not in the notation here. Okay. Uh, but that's, that's a proposal that they are asking Yes, this for. is what they are asking for. Right. So you can ask so, them. So is, there, is there a reason why you did not do my, by, per mileage? Uh, because, uh, if, you could, if you could please Sorry. step up to the microphone, that would be appreciated. My name is Nuercia Artica, and I write the proposal. Thank and you. I just do it just for the start. I didn't do them, you know, like the money. The additional? Money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Is there a request from the taxi cab companies for a change to the additional mileage rate as well or just for um, the primary? I believe, yeah, if you guys can do that, it's going to be fine too. It's just because I did not do the money. You rate. won't say yeah. no. Yeah. yeah. Basically, just I wrote the proposal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anybody else from the public that would like to speak on the matter? No, no quieren hablar. Okay, so thank you for everything, but I want to talk to about the Jessica, you know, the Jessica. It's everywhere in the square. Everywhere, you know what I mean? Maybe the police, or because we are together here, you know. So I get the service, the NGA, and, and we, we don't have drivers. The Yankee can go to the square, you know, go to everywhere. They get the, the, the business card, and they take the business, and they don't pay insurance, they don't pay the, 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 the taxes at the city, you know. This is very important, you know. This is, uh, see, if you see the city need it, we know we on the road every day, every night. So we can take the picture and get the, 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 yeah. the, the police or the city because this is how w you can help you too. You know what I mean? Because they take the business. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's a police question, right? I'm sorry, the Emily. Gypsy yeah, the gypsy cabs are always a. Nonstop, but I see the police right. down, yeah, John Mack about it. Just inherent of the word gypsy. You know, I mean, they're out and about in places that, you yeah. know, obviously if we see them, we'll take an enforcement action. I know Officer O'Brien has been, you know, very vigilant in her enforcement efforts at the market basket and other places. But when, you know, people hail these taxis and, you know, they're more I often than not the police aren't around. I will say I have seen the police very active over at Market Basket in particular regarding the gypsy cabs. Um, it is unfortunate that they, they exist. Um, you know, the problem with the gypsy taxis is um, now their position in the, stand, in the square mm -hmm. is now only in Market Basket. Yeah. You know, like in... Uh, we understand those people want to work, but in their position, it's understandable because, um, you know, like they're oh, taking their job, you know, like. The, so these companies are paying and doing it the proper way, it, so it's yeah. not fair if they're taking the spots. So mm -hmm. our, our cabs that are doing the right thing in the city don't even have a place to pull in and pick up a fare. Yeah, yeah. and now the most problem is that they position in the, and, you know, like in the stand and they fight for that position right there. Mm -hmm. So I think it's unfair for them, yeah. you know, like because they have like a lot of stuff to pay, and they're you know like they don't. So market basket too, like people prefer them now, mm -hmm. the taxi company. If um, and they're charged more than taxi company, you know, like I don't, I don't see why you guys like as a police, you know, like uh, you know like do something about it because if we, we do it. They fight with, of the, course. with, you know, like with the drivers since we don't have the position to do that. So but the, I think the only problem is that, unfortunately, we don't have the police to just station at the taxi stands. Yeah. So it's I when the, when that. they're in the area, making sure that it is being enforced. Um, but uh, unfortunately, 
given everything else in our city, they can't just be stationed at the stands. Uh, so I, I think the, they are trying to hit it as much as they can. It, if you folks are stating that it's really commonplace now over at the square, mm -hmm. uh, I think now the police department is aware that that is a concern in addition to Market Basket, so they can certainly con increase an eye on there. But I don't, I don't think that um, stationing police at the stands is probably the best use of our department's time. Uh, yeah. So it's a matter of trying to stay on top of it as much as possible. Um, uh, and unfortunately, as the captain stated, they just always reappear. So even if the police had just come through and done a swipe, it, they can pull back through as soon as the police leave. Um, so it, as vigilant as our police department can be, um, they are needed in so many areas of our city. Um, and I think everybody knows we've had a pretty crazy week around here. Mm -hmm. um, so our police department is quite busy right now um, trying to um, keep all of us safe. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure it is one of their priorities. Uh, and now that they're aware that the square is also a concern, um, they can make sure they're paying as much attention to those stands as over at Market Basket. Yeah, mostly in Market Basket. Now that, you know, like summer's game, and mm -hmm. you know, like sometimes it gets you in slow. So in Market Basket for summer, is gonna be like a good idea, like to help them. Mm -hmm. Keep the business. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I can tell you that none of us want yeah. to have that activity. There's a reason why all of you go through the process. Um, so we appreciate that you guys are doing it correctly, and yeah. the city will continue to do its part to try to crack down on the gypsy caps. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Captain, anything from the police department before we Just chat? Didn't. You know, just in regards to this woman's statement with the market basket, you know, we had a lot better, I think, enforcement efforts before when there was a, you know, a detail down there that they had the ability to, you know, move them along as they approached, and it was a lot easier to identify who they were. And I know the market basket took some efforts to put out the cones out there. And I've seen it myself when I get on there for lunch, that they're out there and we try to move them as best we can. But I've also seen some, you know, people that work in the market basket advocate for a few of the Gypsy cabs, so if you see any of the Gypsy cab operators yourself, I mean, there is a text line or a tip line that you can send a, a license plate to. If you see a picture, you know, you want to take a picture of their plate, send it in. You can refer it to traffic or some, something like that, run their plate, find out if they're registered, not registered, and try to follow up like that. Um, that's probably the best way for us to do it. Sorry? He says he has a couple pictures. Okay. I have a couple pictures in the, in, in the square. You know, I, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know if you have any knowledge about the Nunez, he, he, Nunez taxis, and once, once it, if I get uh, a right? This guy is moving over here. I don't know if he have a, he paid the taxis at the city. You know? He 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 he, he, he get the yep. business card everywhere. Dr my dr drivers. Well, he puts them on the doors of the houses. I have he yeah. The drivers, my couple drivers, my yeah. drivers, they don't make money with me. They have the proper card in, in the mm -hmm. state in the square. Mm -hmm. You know they work for Nunez. Have you approached the market basket at all to try to advocate for more for parking spaces? And what happened? Yeah. No, no, I mean, I don't, no, I don't mean uh, with the drivers themselves. I mean with the actual market basket management. You know, the, the, market, the market basket, you know what happened with, with the taxi? The taxi, the car driver don't like it because we pick up the market baskets, a lot of food, yeah. coming to the, the HRC, we took out the, the $4.45. They take it, the, yeah. the, the, the people don't like it, we'll say, had to, you know, a lot of food. And the JC, JC car, they seven dollar, eight dollar, ten dollar. Mm -hmm. They make more money, they, you know. Yeah. If you know how about the Nunez, he's have everything over here. 
I don't know if he paid the city, the tax, or by everybody, you know, so we need to help you. So we, we appreciate that, and we will certainly do our part to try to crack down on that. Um, from there, I think, uh, commissioners, we're going to kind of just have an open conversation about thoughts on the rate. Uh, do either of you have a, an opinion? I think it's clear we should raise all the rates. The question is um, what the fair rate is. I agree. Um, I Maybe think. Not quite so high as at first as the rate they ask here, but also raise the, the, the eighth of a mile rate. They're, they're not asking for that. Right. I, I believe, I mean, A, it's been since 2005. Clearly, everything else in our life has gone up. It, it stands especially. to reason yeah. that that would also go up. I, th I would think at a minimum, we would, we would probably match Everett at a minimum um, because it's a similar yeah. sort of demographic. Um, I don't know if we go as high as Boston. Um, it looks like Everett's more than Boston. No. What was Everett? Well, the problem is Boston's go by one seventh of mile. Yes. Mile. So Everett uh, had been two dollars for the first eighth mile, and they've just changed theirs to do two dollars and forty cents for the first eighth. Boston was formerly two sixty for the first seventh, and they just increased to three eighty for the first seventh. And again, Boston is revisiting that in six months. Mm -hmm. I think we, we definitely need to increase it. Um, and we could certainly do something like what Boston has done and have an increase that gets reviewed again in six months. You know, yeah. that works though in most towns when it, go, when it gets, when it's, when it's the shot of the term permit, it's best how it goes. Yeah. So, so uh, what are you suggesting? I, I think that at a minimum we need to match the Everett, which has the 240 for the first eighth mile and 55 cents for each additional eighth mile. Yeah, I think 250, 250 for the, the first eighth and mm -hmm. 60 for each additional eighth. So this, I mean, the 60 for each additional. You're tempering from the people who people rely on this, but, yep. but also it's, it's how much it costs to turn the bus. At least. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's one of those things, as, as the cab company stated in their proposal, it's finding that balance of what's the right number to increase it to that also doesn't deter people, like, yeah. deter people in the community yeah. from being able to continue to use that as their form of transportation. Um, so I think that's where it's a kind of a balance of how much you can increase. But since it's been so long. And it's only a dollar. We're asking for a dollar increase. Dollar increase. Yeah. Per, per person. But that's nothing. That's nothing. It's more important than the, whatever we do for the eighth of a mile. And it's 45 for each additional eighth of a mile, which we're trying to increase. Mm -hmm. I don't think people would even, I mean, they might notice a little bit of an increase, but it's not that. Would you just add a dollar to oh. go to 260? Yeah. And that puts us a little bit more than Everett, a little bit more than Malden. That and puts us at what Boston's rates had been. And then 55 a mile. What did you say, 55 cents? I said 60. 60. Yeah, and then bump that to 55? Yeah. It's not, you're only. So a dollar increase. A dollar 10 cents. I mean, really. I think most cabs are local. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most people aren't going much too far. Yeah. So a dollar increase for the first eighth mile and a 10 cent increase for each additional eighth mile. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what about the waiting time? So ours is showing as 24 hour, $24 prorated hourly waiting time. Malden lists theirs as 22. Everett lists theirs as 26. It was formerly 22. Boston did not have one listed. I don't have a strong feeling about it. Yeah, I don't think many people really do that. Yeah. To leave that the same. Just to leave it. Fuel charge, we have listed at 50 cents. What's the others did not list fuel charges. Um, so we should probably leave that then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the 60 cents for the for additional eighth mile, leave the fuel charge, leave everything else. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So, so between 50 and 60. I definitely don't think it's too much um, because I think it is comparable with, I mean, really when you look at Everett. Well, well it, I'll do it for a mile, the math for a mile. So um, just to repeat that, Everett is currently 240 for the first eighth and 55 for each additional. And it sounds like we're currently looking at 260 for the first eighth and 60 for each additional. So that puts us just a little bit above the Everett. So, so a mile would be $6.80 now. And what is it, and what's the currently what it is? 160 plus 45, 45. correct. So it's going from 475 to what I said it was, six. Six. Less than $2, I think. Oh my 680, God. 680, 675 to 680 for the first mile. That's the difference, it'll be $2 more. I mean, it's been 20 years. Yeah. So do you think that's enough? Is that enough of an increase yeah, in 20 years? Yeah, because going to Boston. I mean, if you put that into 10 miles, now you, um. I mean, I don't think so, but it's also like comparable. I mean, we don't want to, I don't mm -hmm. know, the other cities aren't doing a ton more. I don't want to be so different that that right. would deter people from, especially the, the gypsy cab. Really. Mm -hmm. It's five dollars. It's five dollars a mile after that. So, so if you're going ten miles, so you're going to Boston. Plus, that means fifty dollars to go ten miles. I wouldn't really go any higher than that. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know if I mean, do people go to Boston? No, I, I mean, yeah, but Boston. To the hospital. Boston's not 10 miles. Boston's, Boston's not 10 miles, yeah. Boston's three miles. Are yeah. Six? It's not that far. It's three into my house, and it's got to be another two. Three, five. So $25 is not, I mean, yeah. $25 for downtown Boston. So if you take the bus. That's, that's reasonable. Yeah. That's I comparable mean, with any sort of a ride into the city. An Uber, or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so. Can somebody make a motion uh, for an increase to the taxi cab fare from the current $1.60 for the first eighth mile to $2.60 for the first eighth mile and an increase for each additional eighth mile from the current $0.45 cents to $0.60 cents leave the fuel charge the same at 50 cents and leave the prorated hourly waiting time the same at $24. Yeah. Can I get a motion? Motion. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do you have what you need? Do you understand what? I, I'm going to repeat that. I just want to okay. make sure you have what you need. Oh, yeah, I got okay. it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So while we can understand how much the taxi cab companies were looking for an increase uh, based upon the rates that our local cities have established, uh, we didn't feel quite comfortable raising it that much, but we do believe that an increase was deserved. Um, so we've just voted to increase the first eighth mile from the current $1.60 to $2.60 total. The additional uh, uh, eighth mile will change from 45 cents to 60 cents. So it's a dollar increase on the initial eighth mile and a 15 cent increase on each additional eighth mile. The fuel charge will stay the same and the waiting time will stay the same. Um, we hope that can make a difference for you. Uh, and in the future, uh, if other towns continue to increase their rates, we can certainly re reconsider this, but we don't wanna price ourselves 
too high compared to all of the other local cities as we feel that would be detrimental to your business as well. Um, so based upon what we're seeing, that puts us just a little bit above what the city of Everett is allowing, um, which I think is something that we can consider ourselves comparable to. And we're also uh, a bit above what the city of Malden is um, currently doing. Um, as Naomi had stated earlier, Revere did not get back to us with their rates, so we were currently working with the rates from the cities of Everett, Malden, and Boston. Uh, Boston's rates are quite high currently, um, and I, I just don't think that uh, the residents of Chelsea should have that rate at this time. Um, again, it's always subject to change if, if we yeah. feel that need, so certainly feel free to reach back out to the commission uh, sooner than 20 years um, if things <laughs> continue to increase. Um, but hopefully this, this increase will uh, assist um, the local taxi companies. You're very welcome. Thank you. And I lost my other sheet. Yeah, maybe you might say thank you. So we we doing what say the the offices. We take the picture and the when we'll see the 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 Jersey car, you know what I mean? And I and I and I call the police so I get to hand, right? Correct, um, Captain. You said that there is a text line that people can send that into. Do you happen to know that? Off the top of my head, I can get it to you before you go. But I would just tell you so if you see a photo and you send it to us, that in and of itself won't, you know, prompt us to issue a violation, but we'll investigate, you know, who it may be, and then, you know, we can follow up from there. At least we'll have a little baseline, you know, who it is and where they may be operating out of. We can focus the city cameras, you know, go from there. But I'll get you a number before you go. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank You're you. very welcome. Uh, our next meeting is going to be on Thursday, June 8th. 2023. Our meeting is adjourned this evening. Thank you. Thank you.